Hey watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us four of the new, I should say four out of five of the new Tag Heuer Aqua Racer models. Uh, have yet to see the GMT green dial, uh, but I have reviewed all of these individually. I will place those links in the description. I'm not going to go over specs here today. Really, this is more of a general. I wanted to throw these side by side and ask you of the four that I have, if you want to count the fifth one that I don't have, please feel free to do so. But what is your favorite one? Which one would you wear um, and, and why? So obviously there's been a, a mixed bag. I, I've certainly tried to stay up to date on the comments. I know some people really like them, others not so much. But regardless, I do think generally, or generally speaking, I think Tag Heuer did a nice job on the uh, update for these. And uh, I can certainly see why some folks uh, would, uh, would be in the market for one of these uh, when comparing to some of the other um, manufacturers, those videos I've done, whether it be Tudor, Omega, uh, at the price point. So again, to each their own, um, I highly endorse everyone wearing whatever you like, whatever puts a smile on your face. Um, it's very uh, individual individualistic. Uh, buy what makes you happy. So again, just kind of throwing these side by side. I'll throw these all on wrist. I will say, of the four that I have here, my favorite two are the just the straight black dial with this kind of cyan blue second hand but for my money i'd spend the extra four hundred dollars and i do like the gmt here with the two-tone ceramic bezel i'd really be interested to put this next to the uh the black and green to see how i feel about it so i will reserve uh saying what my personal favorite is until i get to see that one in person but for now it's going to be the gmt here and again i'll throw these all on wrist again specs um, are all in the individual videos. If you came here looking for those, find the link and click on that. Um, it'll take you to each one of these that I have reviewed previously. I did not uh, pull my shirt up here again for you. I should have buttoned that up. But again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. Would I love to see a 39 or 40 millimeter version in these? Absolutely. Um, I think if nothing else, Tudor has shown that there is a demand for multiple sizes and uh, would love to see these in a slightly smaller configuration at some point down the line. Um, I, you know, frankly, I'll say the same thing about Omega. I, I think I, I'd love to see an updated 300 uh, in that 39 or 40 millimeter case. Not sure that that's going to happen anytime soon. Right now we have the Planet Ocean in 39 and a half, but it's a little bit thicker, a little bit chunkier than 300. Um, and so I know many of us, myself included, would love to see additional size in that. So um we'll see if anything comes this year but for now i'm showing you what we have access to and what we have inventory of so here's the green and for the record i absolutely could wear these it's not that i couldn't wear it it's just my preference i have a preference towards slightly smaller watches um and a little bit shorter lug to lug i love that 44 to 46 kind of my sweet spot I can go up to 48. I mean, heck, years ago, I wore, a, I think, a 52 Bradley Super Ocean Steelfish. So it's not that you can't wear larger watches. It's really just more, what are you comfortable wearing? Uh, and for me right now and where I'm at on my journey, I do prefer a slightly smaller aesthetic. But again, overall fit finish on these, I think is pretty good for what you're getting at the price point. I know some people will disagree with me on that, but just my humble personal one man's opinion so give you the bezel action quick again on these and really just wanted to show you these all at the same time i think i've had them both up both uh colors here side by side so the green and the black and the black and the blue date only good bezel action not quite as audible or um i'll just flat out say it i still like the super ocean bezel action uh more than this but it's not it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination let me hit the lights for you quick As always, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything we can do for you, anything at all, contact information is in the description, as well as the links to these individual reviews with all of the specs, case sizes, the weight. If you're looking for any of that information, click on one of those links. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.